welcome to uh, Scotty's channel for uh, CBS here. I'm going to talk about today, uh, well, everybody went and saw this movie. I have nothing uh, to say more than uh, it's already very famous. I'm just going to talk about basic facts um, and uh, seriously what um, some of the scenes I just found, uh, they were just too, uh, too much artificial reality in it. Uh, first of all, let me just begin with uh, the first opening scene. It's like a third world, overcrowded country, you know, scene, like a lot of people everywhere. Um, how can a large group of people um, give way to an international or a black woman, you know? Uh, don't they make her do something first before she drives off? I mean, this is just, because uh, personally, living in uh, some of these uh, environments, I've seen uh, when I had to drive out, negotiate my way through the people, and uh, they don't just move out. Like it doesn't matter how uh, how big the vehicle is. You really have to in a, in a, a lot of a large mass of uh, population. You have to negotiate your way. Nobody uh, gives way. It's like it's like it's like I don't I don't see that happening. In where there are a large number of people. Pretty uh, uh, pretty uh, science fiction. I mean, uh, I remember uh, you have to do something to get away. Uh, it's that simple. And the way uh, uh, the driver's driving the Jeep, uh, it's just pretty, uh, uh, you know, very easy going. Um, okay. Um, in fantasy or reality, anyone from armed forces can do what Bond does. The only difference is that he gets paid and to live a lavish lifestyle by the government. So there you have it. I mean, it's it's. I mean, it's it's. Uh, he has a really unique lifestyle that he gets to go fly, live, and you know, um, live a party and uh, authentication. But uh, many of the soldiers and you know, commandos and most of the armed forces, they don't have that privilege. They get to stay in one province, one country, and that's about it. I mean, uh, they're pretty strong people, but you know, it's just one of those things. Anyways, now I'm going to just talk about the movie as it uh, progresses. Um, now the fight scene on top of the train. Now that is really good. That's uh, that's a pretty good scene. Uh, uh, I was impressed with that. I mean, uh, the tunnel coming and they're like uh, doing a duo battle, just like in Star Wars. The tunnel, uh, what, was it, what was it? Uh, episode 3. Uh, in the lava. Who loses a hard drive with containing all top secret agents in the world? It's a joke, eh? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, uh, mother is shocked to see him back. I mean, uh, she, she's so careless. She just loses, like, the most valuable data that MI6 has put together. And uh, when uh, mother is saying uh, to the agent, take the shot, take the shot, and uh, she does, she misses, and, uh, well, she, she gets Bond. Uh, the wrong target. Now, when he returns back to the headquarters, uh, the government, the, the colleague says, the government doesn't like single men without next of kin, or even without family or a spouse or a wife, basically. I mean, this is just one of those things, you know, uh, it's a normal uh, characteristic of any society to have a family, you know, have kids, you know. And it from there, but since he's uh, one of those rogue people, you know, who does he believes in bachelorhood and stuff like that, so you know, they it's like twice as much pressure. That is why he's getting a lecture. That is why she's saying you better find a hotel. Uh, they took his things in, uh, from the flat and put it in uh, storage depot. I mean, that is life, and that's uh, the way it is for him. For a single guy living in Western country, and it's the same thing in the United States. You know, if you're single, they put twice as much more taxes. For example, if you are married, with, you know, then they reduce the taxes. It's weird. Uh, now the change of headquarters, the underground backup headquarters for MI6, after it got blown up. Now, uh, they want to do a cross-check of his uh, skills if he's up to the next mission. 
he totally messed up his target practice, not breathing in or breathing out, uh, missing all taking aim, you know, missing all the shots for shooting in a shooting range. I mean, uh, this is a FYI, uh, basically, that uh, one has to breathe in, breathe out, you know, analyze. You just uh, put the, you know, uh, generalization. He's just wasted and he's out of shape. Now, this is really interesting. It, this topic concerns me um, uh, personally even because uh, he takes out the implanted chip from his left shoulder and uh, to remove, uh, you know, whatever uh, tracing or, you know, uh, GPS location. The thing is that the United States just passed a law um, in January, I believe, that uh, if any citizen requires a implanted chip can be placed in their uh, body and uh, the government can track or it's like a passport uh, uh, basically uh, like a fingerprint uh, instead of have carrying a paper passport you can carry that too but it's 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 your digital signature um, so this was uh, it was passed in January I can put the link and um, you can check out more information on that What is happening in the U.S. for any citizen who wants to have a chip implanted, basically, that's what it is. Now, the colleague says that he's getting a chance to leave MI6 cleanly versus getting their own or enemy agents, uh, you know, shot at from backstabbing. But Bond rejects that anyway. He says, no, I want to go since he's a, a rogue uh, fighter and his personality that he's a fighting type. He's not going to back off. Now, uh, that's good for a diehard person. Uh, but uh, you know, if uh, if you, if the guy's not up to his skills, then basically he should just you know call it quits and just leave quietly and cleanly. You don't want to make a mess of things, you know, like this is you're playing with death, you know, straight up. Um, other than that, um, well, one more point I have to say: if you're in a gang or a crook or a crooked group, or a member wants out, he gets shot. It's that simple. I mean, there is no, uh, you know, okay, sorry guys, I quit, you know, I'm uh, turning in my uh, resignation. It's not like that. It's like, they just shoot you, straight up. Um, it's just, you know, Godfather, Italian Mafia, stuff like that. Next scene, uh, it's like Q giving update on latest gadgets, but this movie, he got a lousy gun and a beacon radio transmitter, which is outdated technology, bulky and old school from probably 1970s. I mean, if you look at it, you know, it's like so bulky, it's like that big, and it's like, you know, it just does one function. It's not, but no, it's not the top of the line gadgets, that's for sure. Scene, how does one climb a vertical uh, on an elevator? Uh, now, this was really uh, interesting. I mean, uh, it's a pretty tall building, and then uh, the target is going up on an elevator, the guy just jumps, and then he's just hanging on to his rear hands, and like going uh, vertical climb up. I mean, I mean uh, to tell you straight up, it's uh, it's a security breach from a construction point of view. It's a flawless design, and um, any security, you know, it's like what is this? It's a loophole. I mean, uh, this is total science fiction, which has nothing to do with reality. Uh, first of all, you know, he climbed. He just jumped onto the elevator, and then the when the elevator stops, he goes uh, sideways onto the two uh, columns and finds a way out. I mean, the building has a lot of holes. I mean, you know, it's like not like that. Uh, the next scene is really interesting. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the the people who they're after, uh, the enemy. The they posted on YouTube all the uh, all five uh, wanted MI6 agents. I mean, this is one way to get attention from uh, world media. And then they all died, you know, one after the other. So, yeah, the crown was in trouble. It's a security breach, you know, and hey, it's YouTube, you know. The next scene, the girl shaving his mustache. Some things are done old-fashioned style or old school. That's pretty interesting. A casino, a uh, mixed breed, the wild babe is uh, in race sex. She's definitely mixed. I cannot treat her like just one race. She's definitely mixed cocktail.
uh, the casino days, if you see from Star Wars, you know, the gators are the more like crocodiles, right? Uh, the circle of life. Well, what is your circle of life? What is the peak? Uh, hmm? I mean, that's that's an interesting question everyone should ask. What is one's peak point in real life? This is just a movie. Next scene. The sailboat reminds me of the scene from Duran Duran where the wild girl in front of the boat and they're singing that song. The rap stop. Isn't this just uh, political news somewhere? Escalator scene reminds me of Aliens Part 2 with Sigourney Weaver in the hyperlock. Just awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the rest is just follow suit. They arrest him and then, uh, you know, they finally uh, catch the culprit. And then I'm not going to talk about Leon, but these were the main points uh, that uh, I had to mention. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, Skyfall and uh, hope to see you in the next movie review.